It's time now for another mystery guest to join us. We will ask him or her questions and try and guess who we're talking to. Good morning, mystery guest. Good morning. I hope I'm camouflaged enough for you. Yes. Yeah, nice. Paul, hmm. would you like to ask the first question? Sure. Uh, are you an American citizen? Of course. All right. Um, are you in the movies? Oh, that's a good question. I'm not known for being in the movies, but I have been in movies. All right, me too. Are you the mystery guest who canceled last week's mystery <laughs> guest segment? I, I, <laughs> I'm the mystery guest that completely forgot to call in. I didn't cancel. Uh -huh. I just forgot. All right, then I think we know who it is. So we're just going to get, get uh, I right still there. Don't know. Like, you don't know who it is? No, but keep going. Yeah. I we don't it, go to the meeting. I no, think yeah, it's yeah. Kenny G. What? I don't know what, what gave it away. <laughs> It's, it's amazing what you can do with the hotel room towel. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, it's great to talk to you again. How are you? you have a documentary on HBO about you. People, is it like, I'm fascinated how jazz people are like, oh, Kenny G, he's not real jazz. He's well, real jazz. I've been, listen, I've been hearing that for a long time. And, and, and then it's, it's like, what is the definition of jazz? What is the definition of real jazz? Who owns the right to give those definitions? So, you know, here's what I do. I practice every day, still three hours a day. I'm committed to being the best sax player I can. And I just keep doing the things that I do. That's all I can do. And huh. you're cashing checks, Kenny. <laughs> so, well. so what is it that you want to get out in this documentary? Is there something you obviously want people to know something new about you that they don't or that they misunderstand about you? Well, really, I mean, like I didn't have control on this documentary. This is an HBO documentary. When I signed on, there was no editing control. I was just basically the subject of the, the HBO documentary. And what it is, the director's name literally is Penny Lane. So how do you say no to Penny Lane? Yeah. But Penny Lane, when she approached me, she said, this is what I want to do. Your music is really popular. You're super successful. And that makes some people really angry. Let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. It's funny. And you, are you have another album coming out now. How many do you have now, Kenny? Well, I think I've got over 22 or 23 wow. albums. But um, yeah, it just came out on Friday. Super excited because it's been six years. And they're really hard for me to make albums that I love. So yes, I can make an album quickly. But for it to be something that I really love, it's been six years since the last one. It's, this one's called New Standards. I'm really loving it because what I did is I wrote brand new songs, but in the style of those beautiful jazz ballads of the 1950s and 60s, but with my melodies and et cetera. So I'm super excited how that combination came out. Well, uh, you can check out an evening with Kenny G this Saturday, 8 p.m. at the Arcata Theater in St. Charles. You can go there for more information. Can you play us out to break there, Kenny G? It'd be my pleasure and, and enjoy. I'm, by the way, I'm in my hotel room, so if I don't play too loudly, it's I'll play because as of the loud neighbors. as you can. Let's see him again. I want to see him actually. This is amazing. <laughs> this is from my new album. Ah. You're doing a beautiful job. The guy on the other side of the <laughs> wall there. Seven 